Hey folks, how we doing today? I'm doing good. Uh, pretty solid day at work. Can't really complain too much. I'm happy to be here to continue our Pokemon Crystal journey. Um, I'll just go ahead and get started. Last time we spoke was on Monday. We went ahead and we solved the energy crisis. Um, so we have this guy here. I actually just thought of this. I thought to point this out. He goes, there used to be a cave here that had horribly powerful Pokemon in it. If you watched Yellow, we know it's Mewtwo. Ooh. Ah, are you? <laughs> My item finder is responding. So if we look in that water over there, you'll find... I don't know where it is exactly, so I'm not going to fish for it. Um, but uh, you'll find something called the Berserk Gene. Um, it is a really interesting item. It, I think, maximizes your attack or, like, uh, harshly raises your attack, but confuses you. It's a single-use item. It's really interesting. It's kind of like a remnant of Mewtwo. Um, because in this game, I will go ahead and tell you, you can't catch Mewtwo. It's kind of annoying, kind of not great. Um, but it is what it is. I think there's a potion in here. Ah, there sure is. But, how was everybody's day? Uh, like I said, mine was good. So, here, we have some trainers. And, what this is, there, here is the, this used to be called the Nugget Bridge in Generation 1. But here, it seems like a lot of these trainers have shifted over to this route. On the way to, um, Bill's house. But, as you'll find out... As we keep going, um, there's another little surprise over in Bill's, over by Bill's house. That's not Bill, because if you remember, Bill is actually the one that gave us our precious Lucius here. <laughs> and again, this guy's just got a level 35 Oddish. We've beaten the champion. We're going to be smoking that all day long. Uh. This music is just really, uh, it's just, it's wily, you know? Um, it's just got so, such a good personality. Um, so today in Ohio, around where I'm from, strength was disabled, that's annoying. We'll just hit it with a rock smash. Super effective anyway. Um, there were some really severe storms around, like, 5 o'clock. It is, like, perfectly fine and sunny now. But around 5 o'clock, it was looking scary out there. Um, so here is Granbull. This is not a Pokemon we've seen yet. Um, there is one trainer, or a couple trainers, that have a Snubble. Which is a cool little Generation 2 Pokemon, kind of like a mean Bulldog Pokemon. And Grand Bull is the evolved form. So I'm happy we finally get to see it here. And again, it's just another one of those Pokemon that you just don't see until you get to Kanto. Um, and, you know, last stream, in that spot right outside of Celadon City, we found where you can find... Houndour, and we found where you can find Murkrow. Um, two really cool um, Gen 2 Dark type Pokemon. Two Pokemon that are on um, Karen's team that you can't get in Johto. And it's just, uh, it's just not great, man. Oh yeah, we'll go into Margo. I kind of forgot about Margo. I love this sprite for Vaporeon. Um, I mean... I rephrased that. I could never forget about Margo, but I forgot that Margo is one that I want to really train up while we're in Kanto here on some of these kind of fodder trainers. Um, um, but right now, what's going on in my life? Um, a lot of our kids are dealing with state testing right now. 
which is very annoying for them. They really hate doing it. <laughs> um, but we'll be done tomorrow, thankfully. Um, I think some of them have to make a few up, but overall the school will be done tomorrow. So the kids that I work with will have to make them up, and that's not a big deal. Oh, yes! We gave Margo the leftovers. Great to see. That'll really come in handy later. Um, uh, we don't have that quick claw. Oh, yes, this is the time. This is the time we're going to get some rollouts rolling. And we got that, uh, got that leftovers recovery back to full health. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, every time I want to use rollout, it just misses. I swear, rollout has never had this, like, inconsistent accuracy in my lifetime. This thing's probably going to try a solar beam, I guess. Oh no, just absorb. <laughs> Just a very, very weak move. Um, but like I was saying, our kids are kind of going through state testing right now. And it's really annoying for them. But I am starting to get excited. I can kind of, I can kind of taste it a little bit. Um, we really just have like one more month left of school. Um, once this week ends, it'll just be five... Oop. Right into this guy. Ah, uh, see, that guy said he's number five. So you have, like, we kind of have our own little nugget bridge going on. It just kind of shifted. I guess they decided to move from the original nugget bridge when they realized it was a front for a Team Rocket throw. Because <laughs> if you remember, there's that guy at the end that tries to, like, make you join Team Rocket. Um, but I can kind of start to taste it a little bit because... Once uh, the school year is over, I am off for the summer, baby. And I am very excited about it. I'm very excited to um, stream maybe a little more often. We've been, we've been pretty consistent um, at, about, at about three days a week here, um, which, I'm really, which I'm really happy with. I think that's a really good groove um, for me, something that I can kind of stick to. Um, if I recall, this person has... Oh, what's up, Ace? Hey, playing Platinum. I am so excited to play Platinum when we eventually get there. Um, Platinum is... You know, I've kind of said this recently. Crystal and Gen 2 in general is my favorite. They, they are my favorite Pokemon games. They are kind of like mine, you know? Everyone has that. The games that they love most no matter what. And what I'm saying here, Platinum is definitely another one of my faves. I think that Platinum and Emerald, those two games, are probably the best Pokemon games. I think. If I was like... You can only play one Pokemon game for your entire life, and this has got to be the one. I would tell someone to play either Emerald or Platinum. And honestly, I'd probably tell them to play Emerald. Because I love, love Platinum, but the Gen 3 engine is so satisfying and fun to play on, honestly. Um, but Platinum, I mean, is amazing. Ah, you think Platinum and Yellow are the best in Crystal? Yeah, I, like, overall, those four, like, the four third versions, Yellow, Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, are, like, to me, kind of like the gold standard. Um, and, you know, they are, like, those are the classic generations, I think. Um... The first four gens are what I consider to be, like, the timeless, classic Pokemon generations. Uh, mm, hate that. Um, a lot of people love Generation 5. I don't. Um, I have never been a fan. Um, I shouldn't say that. I have definitely played it multiple times and really enjoyed it, but... I think a lot of people enjoy Generation 5 a lot more than me, I'll put it that way. Um, and it just came at a weird time in my life. I was in high school and kind of like 
phasing out of it a little bit, like trying to pretend I was too cool to enjoy video games anymore. Um, uh, these games are the last one that gave people a hard time to beat. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. A lot of people complain about uh, the new ones being too easy. So, when we get to this guy, at the end of this uh, little gaggle of trainers, you took on one more battle than you expected, but you won anyway. As promised, you win a prize. Haha! -ha! So we have our little nugget over here. Which is great to see. But after that, after seeing how you battle, I want to see how I'll fare. How about it? Let me take you on. So this guy kind of plays the role of that rocket grunt, but he's just a nice guy. He just wants to have a friendly sparring match. Oh yes, in red you can get Mew. I still don't know how to get Mew. Um, I have seen videos before on like how to do the glitches to get Mew, but I've never really tried it myself. I have never been much of like a glitch exploiter, you know? <laughs> they work, yeah, they sure do. Um, let's see, we're going to go in Sinaiquil in a bit of a roll reversal because we have this Thunder Punch here. Oh, baby, nice, love to see it. Uh, Charmeleon? I don't stand. Um, oh, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, glitches. I just never have really tried. I'm sure it's like cool and fun and satisfying. I have just always, you know, <laughs> played the game how I, it was intended, like a nerd. Um, cool trainer Kevin. He's just, I've never had a battle this good. And then he says, that was a great battle. You and your Pokemon are truly outstanding. Kevin, you are a stand-up guy. You're just a nice fella. I like you. Um, but, what do we have here? Um, oh, Pampras is last in line in a shocking turn of events. I'll go ahead and pop a save here real quick. Here, we don't have cut. I believe that's a calcium up there. If we really need it, <laughs> we'll come back for it. But I don't predict that. Anyway, so we're about to go over here to where Bill's house is. But what I love is after you do the power plant um, storyline, you will get this cutscene. Misty! Oh, why do you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know what they call people like you? Pests! You heard me right, pest! Oh, those badges you have are the Johto Gym badges. If you have eight, you must be good. Okay then, come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. <laughs> I love that. Misty's on a date! And you interrupt her date! That was you with Misty Tech. Oh my gosh, I'm jealous. <laughs> I scared you off. So, this is Bill's dad. Oh, his, his grand, granddad, excuse me. Um, uh, let's see. He... He says, he tells you about a Pokemon that has a long tongue. If you have that po Pokemon, may I see it? So basically, this is kind of how you can obtain some evolution stones. Um, if you show Bill's dad a Lickitung there, he'll give you an item. I believe he'll give you a Moonstone, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, Misty was on a date. It's a really cute little cutscene. Misty's wonderful. Her sprite and redesign for Generation 2 is perfect. Is perfection. I mean, Misty is perfection. Who are we kidding? Um, everybody loves Misty. Uh, let's see. In fact, I think we're going to try to take her on because I'm just thinking about it. First of all, we're going to destroy the trainers in her gym. Um, nice to see you're joining us, Tech. How's your day? Um, we just defeated the uh, Nugget Trainers. Not the Nugget Bridge, but the Nugget conglomerate. <laughs> That's not the word. Uh, just got off work nice. Yeah. One perk about working in the school is that you can you get off pretty early in the day. Um, the days start, you know, pretty early, but you're not there super long. And it feels like I have a nice good bit of day um, after my work day, at least, you know, compared to some other jobs. 
Ah, trying to learn Rain Dance. I'm going to hold off on Rain Dance. If I really feel like we want to teach Pampras Rain Dance, we do have a TM for that. Um, let's see here. On some of these, so Nyquil's probably not going to be doing a whole lot against Misty herself, so I will let him pop off some Thunder Punches against these swimmers here. Uh, let's see. Oh, definitely a designer at heart. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. I love that. Um, I, man, I, I have kind of had such a an interesting career trajectory, I guess, just to get into like a little bit about me. Because I work in schools now, I'm a parapro. Um, and I have been an actor professionally in my life here and there, um, and, uh, been a substitute teacher, obviously I was a server when I lived in LA, I've just kind of had like a long winding road, um, maybe kinda sorta settling into a career now, we'll see, we'll see how it goes, it's going pretty well so far overall, um, it can be really rewarding if, even though frustrating, you know. Mmm! So Typhlosion can really use this uh, this here Thunder Punch. Love to see it. Um, this can't be. <laughs> it's a very uh, big reaction from just a random swimmer in Misty's gym. Uh, oh my gosh. You saw one of my scenes? Which movie did you see, Tech? Um, for those that don't know, I am in two big movies. Now, I shouldn't say big, it's not like they were like huge box office movies, but they were like good real movies. I was in a movie called Carol, um, and I was in a movie called Dark Waters, both really good. Um, both directed by the uh, wonderful Todd Haynes, who I grew to really enjoy. Um, I thought he was a really nice guy. Carol! Yes! I'm so glad you've seen Carol! Ugh. Oh, yeah. I am in the very first scene of that movie. It was, uh... It was really cool. Um, I was in college when it happened. Um, because they shot the movie in Ohio when I was still... When I was still in school. It was my junior year. Um, I was just, uh... Telling my wife the other day, it has been ten years since I shot that movie, which is ludicrous, completely. It's so insane, I can't believe it. Um, all right. So yeah, watch Carol uh, wherever you watch movies. Um, so, is Kate Blanchett nice in person? I am delighted to answer this question. Yes, absolutely, absolutely she is. Um, the only story I have, really, is, um, because we shot our scene at night, and it was like three in the morning, I was really tired, I was really young, she could probably tell that I was very, very scared, um, and she came over to me and offered me a chip, and it was really nice, offered me some of her chips, and we chatted for a second, I was really awkward, I didn't know what to say. But she was really nice. Um, but anyway, we have our girl Misty. And we are about to see her absolutely masterful redesign. We don't have really any good Pokemon to take on water Pokemon. So I'm really excited to see how this goes. Yeah, it was adorable tech. It really was. It was nice. Um, I was expecting you, you pest. Ah, she hasn't let it go. Has not... Let it go, yes. <laughs> you may have a lot of Johto Gym badges, but you'd better not take me too lightly. My Water-type Pokémon are tough. Mmm. Look at that design! She got a haircut! She's got the cool jacket over the swimsuit. That is like the sickest Misty Sprite ever. It's so great. 11 stars out of 5. So... She wants to battle. And she starts with a Golduck. A very kind of like staple, regular, pure water type. Um, so our levels are pretty much... 
our levels are pretty much on par with Misty, so we should be okay. Oh, I forgot this thing, no sidekick. Um, Tech, um, you know, <laughs> Misty is really hot. It's true. She just is. She just is. Yes, non-stab psychic. You're right. Um, so we're okay. We're living. We're living through that. Yeah, Misty is just a, just a beautiful, beautiful gal. Everybody loves Misty. Ba -ba. I remember when I thought they were ever going to make a Pokemon movie. Years and years ago. I was just like, hmm... Emma Stone should play Misty in a movie. I thought that was a good idea. Oh, Ace, you're building a Lego set. Awesome, what are you building? Um, for Quagsire, we are just gonna go into... Pampras. I kinda lost my train of thought there for a second. Ba -do -do. And one thing I love here is against this Quagsire, we escape the lost temple. That's sick. Um, well, that's fun. Have a great time. Um, let's see. Okay, so Quagsire Special Defense went up. One thing about Quagsire, it's great being a part ground type because it, res it uh, completely nullifies electric attacks, but it lets Lapras hit for neutral damage with our ice and water. Uh, moves. Ah, <laughs> snakes. Why does it have to be snakes? Classic indie. Classic indie. Um, <laughs> indie! Yes, of course. Um, here, we are bringing in the Lapras. So, I'm gonna go into Rupert Grunt again. Oops, I just knocked my desk. Guys, give me one second. I'm back. Starting to feel a little warm. Uh, let's see. Hey, Token, how's it going? Um, but let's see. <laughs> I appreciate you, Tech. Um, we're just going to try some Rock Smashes because we're going to be super effective against Lapras's Ice Typing. It's not going to do a ton, but we did get the Defense Drop. Oh, I think we should be able to do some damage, do some good damage here now that we get the Defense Drop. That's the that's the great thing about Rock Smash. I really do like it because of that. Um, and now one more will do the trick. Can we live one surf? It is rain boosted. I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not confident we can live this one, fellas. Oh, nice! Way to hold on, Rupert Grunt! Wonderful! Love to see it. Excuse me. Ah. And then, uh, Missy, of course, has her Ace Starmie. So, I did get Discord, yes. Um, one of you guys asked about that, and I made one. I, I don't know how to use it, but I'm open to learning. So, I did make one if you guys want to join it. Um, I think it should be linked on, on Twitch here. Yeah, it is. Um, so, for Starmie, we're actually going to go into Lucius. Ah, I love the little shine. Shine on the on the gemstone and star me. Sorry, I had to get rid of that red beep 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 sound. <laughs> um, so here we're gonna try to use our patented Lucius uh, psychic killer strats here. Ah, uh, but the confuse ray. I do hate the confuse ray. But we're sitting pretty here, boys. I was kind of worried. Easy fight. Easy fight. And. The thing about the Kanto Gym Leaders is that a lot of their levels are kind of like at or below the Elite Four in Johto, so you are pretty well equipped to defeat them. You really are good. I'll admit that you are skilled. Here you go, it's Cascade Badge. Thanks, Mist! Alright, are there many strong trainers in Johto? Like you, I mean. I'm going to travel one day so I can battle some skilled trainers. Sounds great. What do you say after? Oh, you just say the same thing. You go, Misty. You travel someday. We'll see you later. It was great revisiting. Alright. So now, we are at the portion of the game where we can really start to... Um, 
uh, as Tech lovingly described Boss Rush the game a little bit, um, to where we can start defeating a lot of the gym leaders in quick succession. Because really, like, the main plot point that you have in Kanto is the, um, the power plant. That's it. Uh, but I am going to do one other thing, because this is how you get the Magnet Train Pass in this game. There is this house up here in Saffron City, and up here lives this girl, and she's the copycat, so she will, like, just watch. Whoa! SCG, hi! I heard that you lost your favorite Poké doll. If I find it, you'll give me a rail pass? I'll go find it for you. You think you lost it when you went to Vermilion City? And then she's like, pardon? I shouldn't decide what you do. What did she say? I wasn't reading correctly. <laughs> so basically, she's looking for her Poké doll. Um, and we have actually been to the spot where her Poké doll is. Um, we visited the fan club here, and this is her Poké doll. But we have this guy. He says, I love Clefairy, but I could never catch one, so I'm making do with a polka doll that I found. Oh, I see now. The girl who lost this polka doll is sad. Okay, you can take this back. Um, I'll befriend a real Clefairy on my own one day. No worries. Oh, wholesome. Cute. Love it. Um, there we go. So we got the lost item. And then all we gotta do is pop right back on up to Saffron City. And then we'll go visit our friend the copycat and give her her polka doll back. Hooray! That's proof! So. Here we get the magnet train pass. <laughs> they gave her a magnet train pass because they tore their old house down to build the station. Yeah, here's a pass. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, very funny, though. So, I'm actually going to show this to you, because this is the station. Um, I showed this to you earlier. Um, let's see. We'll soon depart for Goldenrod. Are you coming on board? Yes, may I see you rail pass? All right. So, you can ride the magnet train. Amazing music on the magnet train. Um, so you just have to take that quick little ride, and then you are back in Goldenrod City! We're back in Johto, how cool! That's easy peasy. Uh, let's see. Ah, it says my Discord, uh, my Discord link is broken. Well, that just goes to show you, I don't know what I'm doing. But rest assured, I will try to fix that. Thanks, Tech. Um, so you can just go right back and forth. One of a kind track, you're right. Um, you can go back and forth at your leisure to Saffron City and Goldenrod City, um, which is wonderful. But something that we are going to do is we're not going to visit uh, Sabrina in the gym yet. Um, we are going to try to kind of like get to all of our towns so that way we can kind of like fly to them quickly. And there's one thing that I definitely want to grab that we are um, going to need, and it is actually in Lavender Town. Um, but first of all, I just want to point out these three adorable little friends in their different colored bicycles. It's wonderful. I love it. The red, green, and blue. Pokemon Confederation Trainer Group will drive you under our wheels. Oh no, you're not so cute anymore. Um, but these are bikers. They are a lot like the bikers that we... Uh, whatcha, whatchamacallit. Um, li a lot like the bikers that you encountered in red, blue, and yellow. Um, uh, the OG versions in Japan... Um, I think I lost my train of thought. I don't know what you mean by that, Tech. I'm sorry. Um, oh, do you mean the magnet train? Oh, red, green, and blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, now I get you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's cool. I didn't even realize that. Yes. Um, 
So if you don't know, in Japan, they did not get red and blue like we did. Um, in the West, I say we, I mean me and other people in America. Um, aha ha, you love when they blow up while you're in the air. Um, but uh, in the West, we got red and blue, but in Japan, it was red and green um, were the names of the two colored versions. And that's fine. You know why? Because Swift never misses, baby. Um, but yeah, that is why when they remade the Generation 1 games in Generation 3, they are Fire Red and Leaf Green. In, rather than fire red and ocean blue or whatever. Because they were remaking the original games. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So Tex says, I actually didn't realize this. Maybe I forgot this. Um, so our versions in the West are ports Um of Japan's blue version, which was like their upgrade. So I guess what you're saying, Tech, is their blue version would be like our, uh, not, not like yellow version, because it wasn't like an anime tie-in, but like a third version is what you're saying. So that's cool. That's a cool little factoid. I actually, I never knew that exactly. <laughs> Forgive me! They got all four versions! Ugh. The Japanese. They just know video games, man. We're the Kanto Pokemon Confederation. Right on. Um, yeah, a lot of my favorite video games are from Japan. Ah, yes, this is why I switched into Lucius. Knock out those poison types with our super effective Psybeam. Oh, yeah, we'll get Psychic soon enough. Um, we'll just speed through this one real quick. Nice. So we just beat the Biker Brothers over there. Um, there are fewer trainers on this route in this game, which I enjoy. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, there are just uh, great, great, great video games to come out of Japan. Really, like, um, great art and media comes out of Japan. When you're, like... The journey that anime has gone on just in my life, from the time I was a kid to now, it is just so, so, so much more mainstream now. It's insane. Um, and how much kids, like, like it and, like, honestly, like, feel comfortable liking it. Uh, true weebs only here. Honestly, I'm, I'm a big old weeb. Not as, I mean, like, I haven't seen every anime or whatever. Um, but I really, really love them. Um, some of my favorite shows ever are from Japan. Like, I say, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is one of my favorite shows ever. There was a newer anime called Ranking of Kings that I loved. Um, really loved Chainsaw Man, what's been out so far. Um... I am watching Attack on Titan for the first time, like I've expressed. No spoilers. I am one season in. Um, the Miyazaki films. I just caught um, a Boy and the Heron, um, you know, a couple months ago now. But that was one of the most beautiful pieces of animation I've ever seen. Um, I also really... Thank you for not spoiling anything. Boy and the Heron was awesome. It was really, really cool. Um, as, as far as the Miyazaki movies I have seen, um, it's, it's been a little, like, up and down for me. Like, I remember seeing Spirited Away, and, like, I think my expectations were too high. I kind of went into Spirited Away, like, this is gonna be one of my new favorite movies. And then it just didn't really live up to that, to that standard for me. Um, I actually really enjoyed... Um, The Wind Rises, which was from, like, ten years ago. But I really liked that movie. Um, and I think that's kind of one of the Miyazaki movies that goes a little under the radar. Um, 
Oh, you say Howl's Moving Castle and The Boy and the Heron. Yeah, I've seen Howl's Moving Castle. I liked Howl's Moving Castle. It was a long time ago. I think I'd like to rewatch it. Um, but, uh, I really want to see the one Miyazaki movie I have not seen that's, like, really on my list is Back to Lavender Town, baby. Gotta love that spooky music. Um, but it's a little more, it's, it feels a little friendlier this time. Um, so much better than the original, yeah. Um, we'll just enjoy this music for a second. Because the other Lavender Town music felt a bit more creepy. This is definitely more like lullaby type. Um, sorry, but the one Miyazaki mov movie I'm really interested in seeing is Princess Mononoke. And I know that's not a new movie at all. Um, but uh, that is like one of his like big classics that I still have yet to see. So we talked to this guy. After you uh, solve the energy crisis... He says, so you're SCG who solved the power plant's problem. Thanks to you, I never lost my job. <laughs> you're welcome, dog. Um, I tell you, you're a real lifesaver. Please take this as my thanks. So he gives you an expansion card. And what this does is it gives you access to radio programs in Kanto. So this is actually really important. And what is our Pokeball situation? Um... Let's see what we can buy right here. I don't really know what we can buy right here. I might pop over to... Okay, we got some great balls. I'll buy some of those. Um, I'll pop over to Celadon City. They should have some Ultra Balls there. Um, but something that we're going to do here... Whoo! Let me run all the way to the Mart. Um, do we have Pokeballs here? No, I will buy a few more Repels. Let's see. Ba, ba, ba. Oh, yeah, dude. I, every time, I always forget to buy the radio, to get the radio card. And, um, buy 10 Ultra Balls. I think I forgot to buy those, actually hit buy on those Repels. Um, there we go. Um, so, something, I forget to get the radio card all the time. And if you remember, you have to do the little quiz in the Goldenrod uh, radio tower. Um, but I usually always remember after you defeat Team Rocket and come back down the stairs. That's usually when I remember if, if I forget. So, now that we have the expansion card and now that we have a couple more Pokeballs, we are going to hop over here because... There are no Charmander on the slot machines. That's right. <laughs> That's like the last question they ask on the quiz. Um, so we're going to save right here because we are going to try to catch our boy Snorlax. And this is so cool to me. I really like this because in the original, you wake up Snorlax with the Poke Flute. But here, you have to go into your Poke Gear. You have to go to the radio. And then... You tune it, oop, places and people, but there's a Poke Flute channel. You can exit, and the Poke Flute music is playing. So now, the Poke Gear was placed near the sleeping Snorlax. Snorlax woke up. That's cool. I think it's cool. So here's our big boy Snorlax. Uh, love to see him. He is at level 50. Um, this is actually a really, really strong level for a Snorlax. I'm actually going to hit him with a Screech um, because it's going to be hard to damage him. Um, hit him with a Glare as well. So hopefully that rollout doesn't start rolling out on us, on us too much. Um, because this Snorlax is going to try to use Rest and really try to stall us out a little bit. Don't kill me! I didn't want that to happen. Uh, okay. I need to remember that his... Ah, uh, yes, and he has a Leftovers here. This is the other place in the game where you can get a Leftovers. 
Um, oh yeah, this is bad. This is gonna hurt a lot. Oh my gosh, okay. So lucky for us, <laughs> by Rupert, yeah. Um, Whoa, I know, he, he survived. Lucky for us, his fifth and most powerful rollout will be on... Wow. Just on Rupert's little bit of HP there. There we go. And that's okay. Um, something that I probably should have done earlier is I'm going to ruin his accuracy with some mud slaps here. That'll help. Oh, a nice critical hit there. Oh my goodness. Okay, I was about to say. Um, and this is another thing. This Snorlax is really tough to catch because it's really hard to keep at a low HP because it has leftovers and it will try to use rest a lot. Um, so yeah, we're really just trying to get some status. Ugh! Trying to get some status and... Let's see, there we go. I'm gonna keep using a few mud slaps. Awesome, okay. We want to try to keep our status on him and keep him as low HP as possible. Now that his accuracy is way worse... hey! Now that his accuracy is way worse, we, uh, we should be able to catch him easier. So that's great. Um, perfect. Oh, give me a name for a Snorlax. Um, this Pokemon's stomach is so strong, even eating moldy or rotten food will not affect it. Chubbs, of course! Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, I think I called the last Snorlax laxative, if I'm not mistaken. So that's wonderful. So yeah, Chubbs is just going to be placed in Bill's PC. Um, Snorlax is actually a really good Pokemon to use, because um, he's always usually a higher level than your team, so... If you want to use Snorlax in a playthrough, it's actually really easy. You can just kind of plug and play. Um, and Snorlax actually gets a really good um, X-Lax, absolutely. Um, uh, before I go through here, we actually need a Pokemon who can cut. So it's my wife's time to shine once again. Um, Snorlax actually gets access to... We'll just do Margo for now. Um, a really cool combo where when you use rest, you obviously go to sleep. But in Generation 2, Snorlax learns a new move called Snore. And that move is a move that can attack while you're asleep. You're snoring. You're like using an attack while you're asleep. It's really, really useful. What does this guy say? Oh, Body Slam? Yes, Body Slam is extremely powerful on a Snorlax because he gets that normal type stab. So here is Diglett's Cave. It is much like it is in Pokemon Yellow. Um, not much to say here. You can find Diglett and Dugtrio in here. But we're just making our way through because we have got to use Cut once we get through here. But I'm going to pop around the corner... Pick up a nice Carbos. Um, let's see, who needs more speed? I'm actually gonna look at some of our speed stats. Oh, I forgot that some of our Pokemon are fainted. I'll give it to Skarmory. I think Skarmory, it does sound kinda cool as better. Um, let's see, I'll give this to Skarmory. There you go, and I'm just gonna give this potion to Kusanai because we're never gonna use a potion. Uh, I believe this person gives us another nugget, so we can make some sales here before too long. Wow, I'm glad to see you. You're the first visitor I've had in a long time. I'm super happy. Let me give you a little present. Ah! Thanks, dog. Very kind of you. That's a nugget. I can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, so that will have to do. Hey, man. I appreciate the self-awareness. That's very big of you. So here, we're just popping down here. This is Oak's aid. I don't know what he gives you in this game. Oh, no, he doesn't give you anything. He just says, hey, he's in Pallet Town. Love to see it. So there's, I just know there's another item down here. <laughs> Nugget of what? <laughs> so we'll just grab that elixir and we'll pop back up this way. Um, if you recall, in Pokemon Yellow, this is where you can trade a Clefairy or an Abra. I don't remember. Uh, you trade a Clefairy or an Abra for a Mr. Mime, which is really good. So... 
we're gonna use cut. Uh, we're gonna fight this person real, real, real quick. Um, I'm just gonna pop tech. Because he's got three Pokemon, I believe he's got three Beedrill. And I think three flies are really gonna do the trick here. Um... All right, folks, so we have been at it for about 45 minutes. Um, I'm not going to call it yet. I think we have time to do at least one more nice thing. Um, go ahead and hit fly there. Love to see it. So his three B drills go down like nothing. Nothing compared to our Skarmory. So here we are. Uh... <laughs> gives word wouldn't hurt a fly a whole new meeting. You are exactly right. Um, so we have arrived in Pewter City, which is great. Um, and getting the battling the Snorlax is the only way you can get to Pewter City um, in this game. So you need to do that little Snorlax power plant thing to progress uh, progress through the game. Um, I believe we healed. Yes, we did. So, folks, I believe we have just enough time to give Brock a try. Um, and we should be able to defeat him pretty handily. Let's sell both these nuggets real quick. Love it. Awesome. So, Brock is packing a lot more heat than he was when we first saw him in the original game. So we have to deal with this fella here first. Um, I'll let Rupert Grunt do that. Because he's got some Earthquake that'll... Rock-type has a high defense. Ooh. Battles could go a long time. But what he's not saying is that they have a horrible special defense oftentimes. Oh, he's just got the one Sand Slash. Oh, I think this is kind of a callback. Because one of the trainers in Brock's gym in... The original has a Sand Shrew, which is very cool. Love to see it. This should do pretty good damage. Okay, not quite. All right, great. Make quick work of this fella. <laughs> Rock tapes are great. Doesn't have one. Yeah, it's true. So now we're going to give Ra uh, Rock... I mean, basically... We're going to give Brock a try. If This should go pretty quick. Pampras, the Ice Beam and Surf is just so good against Rock-type Pokemon. It's not really a fair fight, but we have our boy here. He has a really cool upgraded sprite as well that I enjoy. Wow, it's not often that we get a challenger from Johto. I'm Brock, the pewter gym leader. I'm an expert Excuse me. on Rock-type Pokemon. My Pokemon are impervious to most physical attacks. You'll have a hard time inflicting any damage. Come on. And he's just chilling. He's just like, what up? I'm Brock. I put a shirt on this time. Um, so he's got a Graveler here. I think it's silly that he doesn't have a Golem. Just have a Golem. You have so many other like cool, strong Pokemon. Just have a Golem. And one Surf will do the trick. Um, one thing that I always really enjoyed was here. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap out this Nightwell just to have some fun. Oh, got that Kabutops. Kabutops is such a cool Pokemon. Um, Brock has Kabuto and Kabutops, the two fossil Pokemon from Generation One. Um, I always really like that he has these Pokemon on his. Ooh, uh oh, this will hurt. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> Kabat. That's right. Um, I always like that he had these two Pokemon, because not only are they two really cool rock-type Pokemon, they are both um, ob obviously fossils, and you can... There is a museum in Pewter City, and you actually get the fossil for Aerodactyl in Pewter City, which is really neat, which we showed off in our yellow playthrough. Um, yeah, Rhyhorn, much like Graveler, is going to go down really quick. Um, and we're going to see if a Thunder Punch can knock out an Omastar. It couldn't Kabutops. Can you this time? 
Let's see. Ah, there we go. Got the one shot this time. Love to see it. Um, so for Onyx, we're just going to pop uh, Pampers back out here. And just hit that Surf for the win. Um, does Tech have Steel Wing yet? No, he does not. Um, he learned Steel Wing at 49, I believe. Um, he will have Steel Wing for the end of the game because we will be able to pick up that TM. But, uh, yeah, not quite yet. Would love for him to get Steel Wing soon, but... So there's Brock. He's pretty simple. Uh, your Pokemon's powerful attacks overcame my rock-hard defense. You're stronger than I expected. Go ahead, take this badge. I don't know why they didn't just give him a Rhydon and a Golem rather than a Rhyhorn and a Graveler, but it's aight. He's still got a cool squad. I enjoyed battling you, even though I am a bit upset. That Boulder badge will make your Pokemon even more powerful. Whoa, thanks, dude. So... Last thing I want to show you guys tonight. This is just a little little foreshadowing. A little, uh... uh couldn't let you get too much experience. You're exactly right. Uh, last thing I want to do is just a little bit of foreshadowing. Uh, a little bit of, uh... A little Easter egg here. Ah, you came all the way out here from Johto. That brings back memories. When I was young, I went to Johto to train. You remind me so much of what I was like as a young man. Here, I want you to have this item I found in Johto. The Silver Wing. What else does he say? Going to new unknown places and seeing new people. Those are the joys of travel. Um, so this guy gives you the Silver Wing. And Silver Wing is very cool because it is how you encounter my favorite Pokemon of all time, which we will do in a later stream. Um, a strange silver colored feather. Ooh. Um, so love that very much. Um, but with that, folks, uh, we'll probably call it for tonight. Um, I think that's a good stopping point. Uh, we have now defeated the first three gym leaders in Kanto, albeit we did 3-2-1 rather than 1-2-3. Um, so I'm excited to get into some of the other trainers in Kanto, some of the other gym leaders. We'll get into some of the kind of like nooks and crannies of this game. I know I want to take like an episode or two to um, explore some of the stuff that even I am not like super well versed in because I don't always play, I don't always explore them when I do my playthroughs, but um, just really want to show you a lot of what this game has to offer because again, it's probably my favorite game ever. So thanks folks for being here with me. I really, really love being able to share it with you. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, thanks um, to you as well. I really enjoy you experiencing it um, after the fact. And with that, great. Thanks. See you next time, Tech. Um, have a good night. And uh, you all have a good night. Peace out.